Hi there, love doves, and especially my Scorpios. This is Kelly Lent here, your intuitive transformational coach. For those of you who are new to me, that means that my five spirit guides and I encourage you and show you how your dreams and desires are possible and help you achieve it while feeling good. So this is your mid-month March tune-up for what you need to know to manifest what you want with ease, joy, and bliss. It's a half tarot, half channeled with my five spirit guides message. Um, and it looks like at the beginning of the month, you were being guided to move forward with more confidence as you start to, or move forward with more confidence and believe in yourself more as you start to enjoy life more. So let's see what they have to say for the rest of March, beautiful Scorpio. Um, oh yeah, and thanks for watching this video. I appreciate it, guys. I love channeling and giving messages. So thanks for tuning in. Ooh, you got the star card. Ooh, and the strength major arcana. Ooh, and justice. I love it. Ooh, interesting. Whoa, Scorpio. Okay. Okay. Okay, so you're starting with the Three of Water, the King of Earth, and the Queen of Earth. Um, those are good cards. Earth is very grounded, very practical, and water is definitely very, the, the water suits a, like a relationship-y type card, uh, type suit. <laughs> um, so definitely looks like you're starting out good the second half of this month. Um, it's definitely okay, so king of king of earth a successful time confidently accept opportunities you're offered the Midas touch so you're definitely doing well you are doing a good job there saying you are like starting to believe in yourself more you are moving forward more confidently yeah and they're just saying you're doing a really good job you're doing a really good job it's just more about learning to enjoy it a little bit more you know so it's not I need to be more confident. I need to believe in myself more. Here's the three things I'm going to do every day to achieve that. It's, ah, oh, this is awesome. My divine step for the rest of this month is about believing in myself more. Well, let's see. I, you know, I did X when I was 25. I did Z when I was 26. And I've accomplished this before. Those were good times. So does that make sense? It's not... It's more about getting in the emotional side of it and remembering how fun it can be and how fun you've had when you've achieved something you can't achieve before. Okay. Um, yeah, and it's definitely about if there's, you know, if, so let's say that there's, if you're having a conflict with someone else, and a conflict doesn't mean fight. It just means it's not that perfect vibe. Yeah, we both want to go on a hike at the same place at the same time. It's, well, I want to go on a hike, but I want to go here and I want to go here. So if there's any kind of, conflict going on it's more about having fun with it they're saying and it's really more about being kind and understanding because that's part of believing in yourself believing in yourself is about even if you don't have the right tool right now or the knowledge right now it's about believing that you're a smart cookie my little Scorpios you're a smart cookie and that you know you'll be able to figure it out okay so it's not about being this like encyclopedia this Wikipedia of knowledge it's about knowing that you're a smart cookie and you can figure it out. And that if there's someone else involved, it's about knowing, oh, hey, look, having fun with it. It's like, ah, oh, dang, it looks like we don't agree right now. Well, let's see. What do we both want right now? All right. How do you think we could come together so that we both feel like we got to win? See how it's a little bit more fun energy there and not I want A, you want B, what are the pros of mine? What are the pros, cons of mine? What are the pros of yours? What are the cons of yours? Which one would best suit? So get out of that logical, sensory, analytical mind and get back in the feeling of your chest of what makes us both feel like we got to win. Um, oh, okay. Okay, definitely looks like you're having, you have some decisions to make right now. So I don't know, you did get the justice card later on, so I don't know if that, sorry there, I don't know if that means that you're having legal legal issues or just documents you have to sign. It could be like you started a new job and contracts. 
Um, cause you, cause you also got the seven of water, which is a part about like, you have a, you have a big decision coming up ahead and you got the justice card. So it could be something legal is the point. If not, it just means you have a decision that you need to make. Um, and it's just all about, I mean, this card says it perfectly. Stop procrastinating. So if it's about, you know, if it is a document, just get in touch with your feelings, figure it out if you want to sign it or not. Because um, it does relate to the overall theme of believing in yourself this month and having more fun while doing it. Literally ask yourself, which action will bring me the most joy? That's your yes. That's your yes. Um, and you just got to do it. Otherwise, you're going to sit in this wiffle waffle period. And my guides are saying, that's for me too. <laughs> um yeah, yeah, you definitely have, you got three cards revolved around making a, a decision. S three of them. Wow. Okay, so good luck with that decision. Believe in yourself that you'll make a good decision for yourself. And I always encourage you to tap into the joy. Which one's going to bring you the most joy to do? Because whenever you follow your joy, money follows, abundance follows, friends follows. Um, yeah, okay, so it looks like... For your power in this, you got the star and the knight of air. Knight of air is very quick moving energy, very fun. It, the air suit is in the logical side, the logical side of things. And the star is you're on the right path. So they're reassuring you, you're on the right path. You just got to get past this hurdle, whatever it is you're stalling on. So if you're like a new entrepreneur, it likely means that you have a new product offering that you want to put out, but you're stalling. Oh, is this the right time? Is the price point right? Just fucking put it on your website and put a price on there. See who buys it. Just hit the button up. Um, I can relate, too. I was switching over to completely month-to-month -month only. I went ahead and put the month-to-month -month on there and a one-off. So, so you guys can still book me for one-offs if you want. Point is just do it. Put a button up. Just do something. Because once you take that first initial step of action, then that's when you get to see how people react, see how you feel about that. And because you can always change your mind. So just, you know, do, unless it's like a legal contract. Um, the point is, take some action. You're on the right path. You got the star card. Um, yeah, and it looks like, wow, you just got three major arcana cards for the, the outcome of the month. Um, Yeah, guys, you're stuck in analysis paralysis. You're definitely, I mean, you got the minor arcana card about being stuck in procrastination, and you got the ego card as your outcome, and this just means it's it's your own thoughts holding you back. This is definitely lack mentality. This is definite. You're saying law of attraction, people. You're saying all the buts. You're saying all the reasons you can't have it. Um, yeah, it's your thoughts holding you back, guys. I, I don't know what to say though. I don't. I don't know how to get you guys past that. You got to comment below. You got to join my Facebook Live, and I could channel a message specific to you. You're, you're on the right path. It's literally about believing in yourself more and just making a decision. And moving forward with it. Um, I don't know what you're going through. I don't know how to help you anymore. You just got to make a decision. And you got to do it. You got to go forward. You got to believe in yourself. You know, because you even got the strength card in this card. Um, great inner strength. Release hard judgments. Forgiveness and compassion. So this is the card about moving forward. But in a more emotional sense it's not like the chariot card where it's just you know plow through do the physical effort do the manual labor get it done it's like I'm trying to think how to okay guys help me a little bit here It's how you work with others. You got that card too in the beginning, the, the queen of earth. You got a royal card and a major card. It's it's how you're relating to others. Maybe it's about speaking your, oh, that's what it is. Okay. It's about speaking your inner truth with confidence. Okay. That's what it is. Um, and it's more about 
Okay, okay, I get what they're trying to say now. It's, you know how sometimes when you have an awesome idea and you want to go do it and you start telling people about your awesome idea and everyone else also has an awesome feedback for your awesome idea, by the time you've told five people, you now have five different feedback points. That's what leads you to getting stuck in analysis paralysis. It's, well, I wanted to launch this new product. I wanted to do it at $97. And, well, shoot, this friend said $60. This friend said $25. This friend said $500. So you're stuck here in analysis paralysis. Like, what do I do? Um, so it's more about you're on the right path. Be in your energy, be in your power, be in your energy, be in your power to make your decision. Trust yourself more because you have the Midas touch. So be in your inner truth. Be connected with yourself. Take three breaths and then ask yourself which decision is going to make you, bring you the most joy. And that's the one you got to do because um, you're definitely, yeah, Jesus, this is, this is your hopes or fear card, Justice. You definitely have a decision you're making. Oh, I feel for you guys. I know how I know what it's like to be in analysis paralysis, and I know what it's like to play the what if game. Um, and I also know that when you just ask yourself what brings you the most joy, you make the decisions quicker. <laughs> um, so I mean, read the card. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. It's all like be in your internal strength and and believe it. Like believe in yourself, you guys are getting a lot of believe in yourself moments here and that just believe in yourself that you have your best interests at heart. Believe in yourself that, that like you're the expert, you're the expert of being you, not me, not anyone else, not your mom, not your best friend, like you believe in yourself for looking out for yourself the best, you know, other people might offer good advice, but you got to keep in mind that they always have their best interest in heart too. Um, and yeah, the only thing holding you back right now is, is your own mind. The ego, like, you know, the ego, Eckhart Tolle, is definitely your own mind and your own thinking holding you back right now. Fuck, oh, man, I hope you guys get past this analysis paralysis. Uh, hit me in the comments below. Join my Facebook Live. I'll put a link in the lower left corner of this video. I just learned how to do that. I'm so excited. So I think this would be the lower left corner of the video. I hope. I hope I'm getting my directions right. I'll put a link to my Facebook Live, and I'll also put a link on the right side of my video upper right about how to book a private reading with me one-on-one -on -one if you want that in-depth one-on-one support you me my five spirit guides on the phone for an hour recorded um and, and down here i'll link to the previous scorpio video for this month um and yeah feel free to comment below catch me on instagram stay in touch scorpios i know what that's like to be in analysis paralysis and god they're just really saying believe in yourself believe in yourself so you've got this it's just your own it's your own thinking getting in the way right now. You got to slow that momentum down. You're just like a little, you're on a little hamster wheel in this. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. The longer you say that, the longer you're going to not know what to do. It's got to be in this particular moment. I feel like I don't have a solution to my problem. And I know that I will be able to come to one that will help you slow your momentum down. Um, but much love. Mwah. Comment below or join my Facebook Live and I'll help you more.